Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Atira bin Ibrahim. My number matric 30DT90 F1040. Uh, we are going to explain about our project one. I will tell the, uh, tell the introduction of our project. Okay, our project is called Kiosk Smart System. It is matched especially for uh, Polytechnic Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin um, students. Kiosk is known uh, as a service place at for PSMZ student or staff to either print their document or buying buy buying bus ticket. We want to improvise it, so we decide to make a online system for PSMZ kiosk. Okay. Uh, process modeling is what the business does know and what should do. Uh, data modeling is what data business need to make. Um, to make system complete, the graphical tool um, in data and process modeling are uh, context diagram and data flow diagram. Context diagram is a top level of data flow diagram. Context diagram, also known as environment model, it identifies uh, the flow uh, for information the flow of information between the system and external enti entities the entities uh, system is shown as a single process uh, for uh, data flow diagram is a uh, data flow diagram graphically representing the function or process which capture manipulate store and distribute data between a system and its environment and between component of a system the visual representation make it a good communication uh, tools between user and system designer uh, structure of dft allow starting from a broad overview uh, and expand uh, it, it a, a hierarchy of detailed diagrams data flow diagram is a data flow analysis a proof use some symbols to create a pictorial representation of data movement within a system within the system um that's all from me and i will give to next presenter to continue the presentation assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is no atira binti amro anwar Metric number is 13DDT19F1138. I will present about contact diagram. Contact diagram is the highest level of data flow diagram. This is contact diagram for smart kiosk system. It contains external entity and data flow. External entity is known as actor, people, sources, or receiver of information. In our contact diagram, there are three external entity, which is customer, admin, and worker. Customer are someone who will use this system. This system have two services which is printing and ticket bus. So they will choose which service that they want. Worker is the person that will take order and prepare them. They are the in charge of the order. Admin is the person who make the system. They also will update if there are any update about the system and will inform the customer. Next, data flow. Data flow is the movement between the external entity and process zero. First, the system will send list of services to the customer. When they receive the list, they will place the order where the printing service or bus ticket service. After they place the order, they will confirm the order with the system and the system will send the order to the worker. The worker takes, take the order and prepare for the order. The worker only work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m which is the order we prepare during working times only. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Wan Fatimah Maisara bin Juan Hisham. My registration number is 13 GDT 19F1075. Now, I am going to present about data flow diagram of our project. As you can see, the figure shows level 1 GFD which is the decomposition of smart kiosk system. 
The data flow diagram of the smart care system contains four processes, three external entities, and two data stores. The external entities are customers, who is the person who will order from the system, worker, who will take and prepare the order, and admin, the person who is responsible to the system and the owner of the system. Based on the diagram, we can see that customers can book orders and make payments directly through the system. After customers book their order and make their payment, they can select services they wanted, either printing service or buying bus ticket. The selected service then forwarded to the next process, which is print the orders. It will also forward it to the order data store. Next, from print the orders process, the inventory details will be updated to the inventory data store. Then, the order inventory is updated as the next process and is given to the workers to hand it to the customers. Admin can receive reports from the update management report process, which is forwarded from the order data store. As a conclusion, both context diagram and data flow diagram are very important in the making of a system. Context diagram is important because it specifies the system which is under study, interacts with other system outside the model or not. Why data flow diagram is important because it can make the system the best out of the best because the environment is always changing. Well designed system have a feedback and control loop to allow the system to adapt itself to changing conditions. In general, the smart care system is very useful because it would make any works done in just a short time and easier. We hope this system will grow not only in PSMZA but also for outsiders which make the same services. Especially in this pandemic caused by the COVID-19, this system will help a lot by making sure people to follow the standard operating procedures. That's all from us. Thank you.